What's up you guys? This is Linyati Bartolo and now, now, now we are going to talk about the patterns in mathematics. So we start by defining what pattern is all about. A pattern constitutes to a set of numbers or objects that are related to each other by a specific rule. A pattern is also known as a sequence and there is a finite or infinite number of numbers that make up a single pattern or a single sequence. Now, we may not always notice, but everything around us are made up of different forms of designs that we call patterns. The, the tiles on your floor, the patterns of the couch that you're currently sitting on, or the bed that you're laying on or even at the toys that you see around you. Those exactly are patterns. Now, to get you to understand patterns better, I am going to show you some real life examples that I've seen inside our house and I hope that you take a look at yours too and tell me how it went. according to a specific rule and this specific rule is actually a mathematical rule that is a set way in practicing and dealing with mathematics that we deal and associate ourselves every single day because literally math is everywhere and around us so now that you've reached the end of our discussion about patterns I hope you learned a thing or two about it and if you want to know more about patterns make sure you click the next video that is table matches sequence and I hope to see you there. Hi, my name is Rochelle Arishisi Mendoza. And today we're gonna talk about the Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence is one of the most famous formulas in mathematics. It is a set of numbers that starts with 1 or 0 followed by 1 and proceeds based on that each number called Fibonacci number is equal to the sum of the preceding two numbers. So the sequence goes 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on. Leonardo Fibonacci is one of the most famous Italian mathematician and number theorist. He invented the Fibonacci numbers and Fibonacci sequence. He was born on 1170 on Italy. I will show examples of the Fibonacci sequence in the real life applications. in the leaves because there are eight leaves on one stem and also there is a Fibonacci in the flower because there are five petals and there is a Fibonacci in calamansi because there are eight that you can see on inside of it on the conclusion 
it shows that the math is part of our everyday life. Based on the examples of the Fibonacci sequence, there is always a Fibonacci sequence in every things. Last but not the least, let's talk about Golden Ratio. I welcome you again. I am Alisa Jean Sapau and nice meeting you. So let's get started. So what is Golden Ratio? Golden Ratio is also known as the Golden Section, Golden Mean or the Divine Proportion. In mathematics, it has approximately equal to 1.6. It is the ratio of the line segment cut into two pieces of different lengths. The ratio of a whole segment that divided into longer segment to shorter segment. The golden ratio is also the heart of many of the proportions in human body. So now let's take this closer to home. I want you to hold out your arm and look at the distance between your shoulder to your elbow and your elbow to your fingertips. Notice from your shoulder to your elbow is 1 and then from your elbow to your fingertips is 1.6. But it doesn't stop there. Now take that further, the distance from your fingertips to your wrist is 1. And then from your wrist to your elbow is 1.6. Keep it going from the furthest tip of your finger up to the bottom of your finger is 1. And from the bottom of your finger to your wrist is 1.6. Now check out the spacing of your knuckles from 1 to 1.6. That's how the line segment of a golden ratio. The fact that our whole body is the symphony of the golden ratio. The golden ratio is also evident in some of the famous structural designs like the great things in Egypt, Notre Dame in Paris, the Taj Mahal in India, and the Parthenon in Greece. And that's all for Golden Ratio. I hope you learned something. Remember that Golden Ratio is approximately equal to 1.6. It is the ratio of line segment that cut into two pieces of different lengths. Again, I am Alisa Jean Sapo and see you on to the next one. Did you know Fibonacci contributed to the spread of decimal numbers? Fibonacci helped spread the use of decimal numerals. Because of this, the people called him the most talented Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. Did you know the Fibonacci sequence is also used in music? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart executes the Fibonacci sequence in his well-known pieces work of music. A good example is the Mozart Sonata 279. In fact, he wrote the mathematical sequence in the margins in the sheet music. The Mozart Sonata 279 is actually the background music of this part. Did you know Golden Ratio is also known as Golden Section, Medial Section, Golden Proportion, Divine Section, Extreme and Mean Ratio, and Golden Mean. And it is also known as Sexual Area in Latin. Did you know November 23 is Fibonacci Day? It corresponds to the first numbers of Fibonacci sequence 1, 1, 2, and 3. 
Did you know the Fibonacci numbers are used in pop culture? Talib Kweli incorporated the Fibonacci sequence in his song. This song titled Astronomy Ain't Light. Music please! <laughs> Thank you.